In this question, we have to figure out the best transition word um, to go between the sentence before and the, uh, the current sentence. So let's read the sentence before. It says, Greek yogurt is slightly lower in sugar and carbohydrates than conventional yogurt is. So that's the idea in this first one. And the second one says, because it is more concentrated, Greek yogurt contains slightly more protein per serving, thereby helping people stay uh, satiated for longer periods of time. So the first one's talking about sugar and carbohydrates. The second one's talking about protein. So um, you use the transition also when you're giving information that's very similar, but not necessarily exactly the same, right? So could that work here? Yeah, maybe because you talked about sugar and carbohydrates first, and then you also want to talk about protein. Not bad. Uh, B, in other words, you use when you're basically restating the same exact idea, um, but in other words, right? You're using different words. Um, that's not exactly what you're doing here because you have two different ideas. You have sugar and carbohydrates and you have protein, right? Those are different. So B should be out. Therefore, you use when one thing be happened because of the other, um, right? I studied a lot for my test, therefore I did well, right? So one, I did well because of the first thing that happened. Um, and that's not really the relationship you have e here either, right? The first sentence didn't happen because of the second one, um, or vice versa. So that didn't work. Um, and D, for instance, that's used when you're about to give an example. So um, is the second one an example of the first sentence? No, they're two different ideas. One's talking about sugar carbohydrates, the other one's talking about protein. Those aren't an example of the first. So here, I think it's fine to use also, so you can keep it um, as your best answer.